Hey everybody, in this video uh, we're going to learn how to construct copies of line segments and how to add line segments together. Now I've decided to do all of the individual construction videos separately, so in case you need to rewatch one, you don't have to figure out which video it was in because they're all going to be separate. So uh, we're going to start off by uh, just going through what the steps are going to be, uh, and then you can try this on your own. You should write these steps down though. Um, so we're going to start with a given line segment, right? So you have some line segment given to you. And in order to do the construction, you first have to draw a line segment that is longer than the one you've been given, right? And so I'm just going to draw a line segment. That's obviously longer than the one I've been given. And so now I get my compass and I need to adjust my compass so that the radius that I'm going to use is the length of that line segment, right? So the best way to do that is to just put your compass on one endpoint, like so, and then uh, you just kind of adjust and swing a little, little arc to make sure that you hit that other endpoint. And so then to copy this segment, you put your compass on the endpoint of the line segment you drew, and then you just swing an arc. That radius is the length of AB, so if I put my point there, and I put my point there, I have A prime and B prime, which are copies of A and B, and I can say that AB is equal to A prime B prime. Those are two equal length segments. Now I've written out the steps here, and so you should pause and write down the steps so that you remember them for the future. Now we're going to talk about how to add two links together. And this is a legitimate method of, of addition. It's very old school though. Um, so first, I'm going to start by drawing a line segment that is longer than the segments that I've been given. Okay, At least uh, both of them combined visually, right? And so then I'm going to use my compass and I'm going to act like I'm copying the line segment, right? And so I'm going to start with CD. I'm going to have to adjust my compass here. Da -da -da. Adjusting the compass. Okay, so then it looks like I have the radius right there and I just kind of marked my radius, right? So it the, the radius on the compass is the same as the length of that line segment. And so I put the pointy end on one end of that line that I drew. And then I swing an arc to mark that length. And then I go to the other line segment and I have to adjust my compass. Oopsie, wrong way. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Adjusting my compass. Here it goes. And so I look to see if I get that length and I need a little bit more. Other way. That looks good. And so I'm going to put my point on one end point, swing a little arc to make sure that I got that length, and I did. And so then I'm going to put this point on the end of that first copy, and I'm going to put this here. And so this segment represents the length CD. This segment represents the length EF. So this length here, and I'm going to call it GH, right? The length CD plus the length EF is actually equal to GH, right? So the question I have for you, and I'm not going to show you this, we might do this in class, is uh, can I subtract lengths? So if I can add using a compass, can I subtract? 